following is a presentation of Play Fly Sports Properties and Michigan State Sports Properties. Pleasant good evening, good people. It is Tuesday, May 9th, 2023. I'm your host, Jason Strayhorn, along with my co-host, Otis Wiley, and J.U. Choo Choo, Colcrick. This is Sparta. That was for you, O. That was for you, O. Yeah, yeah. Get it, get it, get it. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button, everybody. You know what to do. It costs you nothing. It helps us a whole lot. Appreciate you joining the show. Don't forget to follow us on all of our social media platforms. This is how to do that. Thanks for tuning in to This is Sparta MSU. Interested in hearing more from us? Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even TikTok. Click on the link in the bio to head to our link tree for more information. Help us grow our following by hitting the like and subscribe buttons. Tell your friends and family to do the same. Have an idea for a future episode? Let us know in the comment section below. And now, back to the show. So what's up, fellas? You know, how you guys doing after this weekend? Choo-choo looking like John Travolta up in here. Is it because is it I got the, the collar, the bigger collar than the, like, I mean, come uh, on. Now. No, because you got all that grease on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Why you, you look like you feel the like movie you grease, too? The movie grease, baby, you know. Uh, yeah. I, think it's, I think it's just the lighting. It's the lighting. The lighting is dim here. You know, I, I do I do moisturize my face. I moisturize my body twice a day. Ju- juices and berries in the hair. Yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. But I moisturize. Oh, okay. I moisturize my body twice a day. You will never catch me with ashy ankles, ashy uh, elbows, ashy anything. So don't even I try mean, to say like you did, Otis. Don't I mean, ever caught me with that. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it was winter time. It was. It was probably a bad day. You, you, know, you, had you, you, you never caught me. You had them. <laughs> no, 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 no. Absolutely, Thank you, Trevor. You know, if yeah. Trevor tells me I'm looking good, Trevor's a hard critic. You know, oh, if, he, if, if, if if Trevor said, "Yeah, you choose you looking good right now," that, man, I saw somebody else say something about some soul glow. Is that Steve? Soul glow. Oh, you know Steve. Steve I remember that. Soul glow. And Steve had. I, now Steve I got that. It from Steve. You, <laughs> <laughs> Steve you got, got that S girl. Show. Oh <laughs> my goodness! He got that soul glow. <laughs> Speaking of, we got a jam packed show today, guys. We got we're gonna talk some nil. We got a special guest to really talk about. You know. What are you guys bickering about? Look, we're going to give you an answer, a way to solve the issues that we have, and that's about NIL. Also, you know straight, straight, straight. Yeah. I, I hate to cut you off there. You do. You know you don't because you yeah, do. I know. I hate to. The disclaimer. He loves to. No, no, no. no. But, but the thing is, you talk about that NIL, and, and so many times in our show, we have people that are commenting, how do we help out? How do we do this? How do we do that? This is the show that you can find out how you do that and how you help out. That's right. Appreciate that. That's how to preface it. There's an intro for you right there. <laughs> guys, you know, you're talking about Choo Choo having Ashy Aiko. That probably dated back to his days in college. But guys, we're going to talk about graduation <laughs> today. Some Spartans got the cap and gowns on, baby. Let's talk about them. Oh, yeah. You got what? Ty, little Ty Walker did his thing, you know, coming out there walking. Uh, it's always good to these guys. Uh, you know, these are student athletes who went through COVID, right? So you get to walk your, you know, walk. They probably even envision being able to walk based off of what we had in the, in the uh, pandemic. But when you're walking and just the feeling that, you know, you got a year of eligibility, maybe even two years. Sometimes some of these guys got three. And it's a good opportunity where you were able to leave here with, 
two degrees, which is really not known from a standpoint, which is utilize this university to your good and your benefit to where you're leaving here with two degrees. Yeah, if I had two degrees when I left, oh man, you couldn't tell me nothing. You know, when I got that, that was the biggest thing, on my, on, you know, my biggest accomplishment in my entire career was getting that degree because I finished something. And I think that's the best part of the celebration of you left your hometown and you got the degree. And it was a good feeling to see our student athletes walk across that stage. You, you're 100 percent right. Oh, uh, you know, that's such a good feeling, and especially, you know, because my biggest thing is, you know, people realizing that athletes are more than a number running down the field, down the court, down the track and everything like that. And these had uh, guys had the opportunity to walk, you know, in the Breslin Center and uh, collect a degree. Why the reason why they came to Michigan State, um, especially in today's day and age with NIL and all those different things. And you get to come in and you you uh, graduate from such a great institution like Michigan State University. There's nothing like it. Uh, congratulations to all those student athletes that don't it. And help. Bigger congratulations to the guys that still have eligibility left. <laughs> um, oh, love, right? That was love. <laughs> that was so love. Oh, like, hey, like, hey, now you can do that. Like, three, three years? <laughs> I, I, know, I think that might yeah. be snow. Snow? Wait. Yeah, three yeah, years. Snow, after look, after I'm about to be basket weaving class is like Hoyer did. Didn't Hoyer have basket weaving class? Yeah, underwater basket Underwater basket weaving. Underwater basket weaving. They've been doing that since the 70s. You know, like Otis said, though, you can't can't tell him nothing. You got a degree already, and you you on campus still getting it done? You're playing football at Michigan State University. You're playing a sport at Michigan State University with a degree in your back pocket. Nothing like it. Man, I don't like it in the world. We love it. I mean, guys, that, that, that's that's great news for all the graduates. Congratulations to the graduates. Talking about people maybe leaving campus, let's talk NBA combine list that just got put out, guys. I'm scouring the list, and there's two names I don't see. Otis, Chu. Yeah, look. All right, look. I ain't got laser vision, but you're zooming in. You see it. <laughs> you don't see it. <laughs> uh, you know, one thing, we had a tour this morning with uh, – we had Buick and General Motors team on site. We love General Motors. Basketball. We do. We definitely do. Uh, you know, I won't say anything about that uh, truck that Choo Choo got, but it is what it is. <laughs> but, what do you mean that truck that Choo Choo got? What truck? What yeah. truck did I get? You got that Chrysler yeah. Dodge Ram. You know, it's like, well, it's all good. You know, it's good. Anywho, we are in the facility <laughs> of men's basketball. Coach Izzo comes. Coach Tucker comes to talk to them because, you know, they're driving those vehicles around. But we did a tour. And we was we, we went through the locker room and you know how quickly, like when you're done, you, you took your graphic off your locker and it's like blank now. You got all the squad. Mm-hmm. And so like just to give us hope, just to give Spartan Nation hope, you still got AJ. You still got Jaden's picture up there. Right. But like you got your boy, Joey. Joey's is gone. Like it's <laughs> like it's like a strip. Right? Houser's is gone. House is gone. Right. And so you think about it, that gives you some hope, too. But. That list is the list you want to be on if you're truly going to make the decision to declare. And that just gives us hope that, you know what, if we get those two guys back, oh, my goodness, it is Absolute, trouble. It's absolutely. Trouble. And, uh, and you know, let me just go back. Let me just go back real quick here to, you know, like to, to the list. Let's talk about graduation list there. A lot of the guys that people don't realize, uh, Spartan Nation don't realize this, a guy like Rocky Lombardi, who transferred from Michigan State uh, to Northern Illinois, they come back and get their degree from Michigan State. You know, just so people know that. Like, a lot of the transfers come back. Because I saw somebody in the comment there, a Michigan State degree carries a lot of weight. Uh, Because people that transfer out of Michigan State and go to somewhere for a year, they transfer their credits back to East Lansing, to Michigan State, and get – and graduate with a degree from Michigan State. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Yeah, I mean, you're right. And I think that you're talking about Trevor, Trevor Thompson. Again, he said the MSU degree carries more weight than a degree from Auburn. I don't quite know what he means by that. But we might have a hunch. (laughs) Did I say that? We can talk about that. We're going to talk about that, Trevor. We are. You know, moving in the same vein as the NBA combine, let's talk about NBA owners. Michigan State's own Matt Ishbia gets into it a little bit with Jokic. 
How about man, it, fellas? Listen, the Joker, the Joker barely touched him. Like, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's a beautiful fly. That's no, a hey, beautiful fly. Hey, I, I hey, call him no I fear call, there. He no block. No fear. That's a block. <laughs> it's not a charge. It's a <laughs> yeah, he ripped it out of his hand. He ripped it out of his hand because he yanked it out of uh, Ish's hand. You see that? Yeah. WWE, yeah. you're right, Steve. Oh, man. <laughs> And look, I like how like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, first of all, I'm not gonna lie, Matt, you kind of deserve that. You put your hand in there and slap the ball off, like you kind of. Oh no, he was hanging wait, wait, on to the ball. Before that, the the video, this, he was hanging yeah, on to the there. ball. See the video this is showing yeah. when he reached. Yeah, when he reached in. That's what I'm saying. He just, no, before he, this, before oh. this, before this, he took the ball out of Ishbia's hand because Ishbia was holding it. This was his hold, and he just. Took it away, then this year poked it out. Well, I love it. Hey, man, look. It's playoffs, baby. Come on. Our you, owner you, you know, you know, you know, you know owner's ass any day. You know what I want? I want to point out there, right? So you see the guy in the, the guy in the blue that comes up on the right there. That's Isaiah. And yeah, Zeke didn't do that's anything. That's Zeke that's Isaiah Dalman? That's Zeke? Yeah, that's yeah, not that's Zeke. Zeke. No, 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 not Dalman. Yes, Isaiah is. Thomas. Where? <laughs> right there. In the with blue, the blue. To the right. right in the there. blue, to the right. Comes in late. He right didn't do down there. <laughs> and he's like, hey man. <laughs> didn't do yeah. anything to hey, look, defend the boy. <laughs> look, man. Hey, Isaiah's Isaiah's bad boy days are behind him. He is he is like, I done had enough of fighting the bulls, bro. Come on, like, <laughs> like I'm good. <laughs> right. He took a I'm lot good. of shots to the eye. But, yeah. we, but didn't, we didn't cover what he he came out with saying, I don't want, I don't want uh the Joker to get a fine or get suspended for games like yeah he got fined five thousand dollars but he said like 25 it's, oh, it's twenty five thousand he got it's, it enough, it's, that's like, nothing. it's like that's it's like it's like a yeah. 50 cent yes yeah, that's penny. like a nothing silver dollar in the NBA world in nba in nfl 25 is it's hey, a that's, lot that's back but, to back mvp of the league that's nothing man. yeah like, yeah nba yeah, money on, that that's 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 Full that's a night at tootsies that's a night at tootsies <laughs> <laughs> you would, man. You yeah, I mean, would. here we go. The only two. What about Rick? What about Rick? In Nashville, okay. Tennessee, you guys gotcha. are off the chain right now. Good luck. <laughs> Moving on, <laughs> gentlemen. You on the chain, clearly. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, like, listen. It's only so off the chain. You it. Amber Reinstein. This is this with a heavy heart. We say she is now moving on, fellas. Hey, this is I ain't, this this is a big loss. Like, I mean, to for someone like Amber that's in our program, like you don't understand how much she bleeds green. Uh, you know, adapted or adopted us. Uh, and when you're having to feed these guys um, and put meal plans together to get them to their maximum nutrition um, state, and you got to keep on them. I mean, it's like back at home, your mom is like, you know, eat your vegetables, eat your, eat, eat this, eat your protein. And she has these guys down to a science. And uh, it was one it was one story during the spring uh, practice where Malik left practice or it was ended practice, but he didn't grab the, the meal or the food that he needed to eat. So he can Malik be good who? for the rest of the Malik Spencer. OK, so Malik, because oh, you don't like Malik call. You're right. Malik Spencer. And she called him by his full name, middle name and everything. And like that relationship standpoint is, is going to be missed. And one, she's going to North Carolina. You know, she was obviously there before. But, you know, one, congratulations, Amber. Obviously, we're going to miss you, but you're always a Spartan for life. And uh, obviously come back. Uh, she's trying to put weight on Chuck, you know, like you saw Chuck <laughs> come out with a, a social post. Like, I love you, Amber. Like, you know, Amber is truly uh you know, she's she's behind the scenes. She's like a Ken Manny of when she's with those guys for all the time. Um, so it's good good for her for to get another job uh, in another program. Yeah, you know, absolutely right. Uh, and I got to give a shout out to Amber because um, you guys might not know this, but uh, doing sideline, you know, this year Otis brought me back uh, to East Lansing to do sideline along with Jason in the booth doing color and George doing play by play. 
you should get hungry on the sidelines now. I can use <laughs> I go to in with to Miss Amber. I'm like, hey, you know, you got anything for me? She would give me a granola bar, she'd give me like a yogurt parfait and something like that on the side to keep the energy going there. So uh, you know, kudos to her. And um, a lot of the kids, you know, really appreciate her. They really appreciate, you know, the respect that they have for her you know, um, that, she, that, that she has for them as players and how they really want to cultivate that relationship and how she, they feel that she makes them a better athlete. She's putting everything into them. So that is uh, something that's really cool. And, um, you know, congratulations to her. Uh, we really wish, you know, she would stay. But, you know, like at the end of the day, you got you to gotta always level up. You got to figure out a way, you know, what is best for your career. Never forget when she first arrived on campus and then there was those body transformation photos that came out, guys. Remember that? You yeah, know, yeah. Lot, I mean, and, and, you know, so that, that was dramatic in of itself. And then for them to go down to Miami, this is the 2021 season when Ooh, it was hot, walk, yeah. extremely hot. You know, there's, there's no way to mimic those conditions, especially in East Lansing. And they were able to go down there and they had a plan. It was the nutrition team led by Amber combined with strength and conditioning and the coaching staff that put together a plan that had Michigan State pulling away from Miami in their own house, which is was incredible. You know, so, you know, hats off to her and, and thank thanking her for all that she's done and, and wishing her the most success. Sad to see her go, but happy to see her continue on her path and her dreams uh, for success for her family and her future. Guys, you know, moving on with there's some transfer portal news that came about that. I wasn't aware of, but maybe you guys know. Cade McDonald pops up wearing, you know, the red down in Miami of Ohio. Yeah, you know, congratulations to Cade. You know, that was one of those things that was a quiet transfer, and now he, you know, popped back up. And uh, Miami of Ohio is no slouch. You know, they had, uh, you know, Big Ben was there, um, you know, back, Otis, when you and I were in college, our offensive coordinator there. Uh, he turned to be the head coach at Miami of Ohio there, Don Treadwell. Um, so, you know, that's a, that's a, uh, you know. I can assure you now. I can assure you. <laughs> I can assure you. That, yeah, that's, that's his thing. That's his line. Yeah. yeah. I can assure you. But, you know, Don Coach Treadwell is a really good dude. And, you know, he was a head coach for Miami of Ohio for a few years there. So uh, I think Cade's going to have a really good career at Miami of Ohio. I think that's a really, really good landing spot for him. Um, I think he's that type of player, and I think he's going to have some success at that level. Yeah, you, you saw the story. Like, one, I just found out that, you know, obviously wasn't following him as closely, but played on that same team with Peyton and Jay Reed back at, you know, in Illinois. And so uh, is oh, this yeah. – yeah, so just from standpoint – trio. Yeah, the trio. And, you know, he did his part, man. He waited as long as possible. And – um you know, drank and bled green and white. And it's now like, let's go out there and truly put some stuff on, on, on the field. And I think that's a great spot for him because the Mac is not, not a slouch conference. You know, they got some, some programs in there that have truly pushed the needle and, and uh, had success. And so looking forward to supporting him. And like I said, once a Spartan dog, always a Spartan dog. And uh, to Chuchu's point earlier, he'll, he'll be back, you know, for sure and supporting, um, but good, good, good job of getting to the next landing page, which there's a lot of transfers out there that have not landed. And uh, for him right. to get landing on a spot is a success. It's absolutely huge. You're right. Otis. Oh, yeah. Multifaceted guy. Great talent. You know, kick returner, punt returner. Um, right. Able to obviously play that slot position and shorthanded. Made made a lot of plays for Michigan State when you really needed them. And that, that is the end of the era for the Naperville boys. You know, you had Jaden Reed. You had Peyton Thorne and also Kate McDonald, all Naperville guys that kind of grew up together to come in East Lansing and now no Naperville. We got to get back to recruiting that Chicago area. What do you think, boys? Um, moving on. I mean, Keon I have- Stewart. Keon Stewart is a transfer from TCU. TCU, national championship game. TCU cornerback is now a Spartan. I mean, well, listen, <laughs> I'll talk to you guys about this. Like that, that, that result in that championship game. <laughs> um, one, oh, yeah. we watched that together, didn't we? Okay? Yeah, we did. And uh, <laughs> I just, from a standpoint of like, I honestly thought we were deep in our, our room from a you know corner standpoint, but it's just going to add, you know, 
some volume to the comp- comp- you know, competitive competition in that room. Um, you know, I looked at the stats and it, it's, it's, I say minor, it's not as major from a standpoint of stats from where he was at with TCU. Uh, let's just hope that he comes in and, you know, has a fresh page on, on, on the life and the career that, you know, he can produce for us, uh, but looking to see what he can do um, in our system. But, you know, he's a, a physical corner, uh, if you can see in that picture, but obviously looking at some highlights uh, as I did some, did some research, a uh, physical corner playing in that league, you know, conference. So let's see that he can make a transition up to here because, you know, you got to hit too, man. You got to knock some people out and that being at the secondary for Michigan State defense, but in the Big Ten period. So let's hope he has success with us. You know, I don't want to lose one key on and gain another key on. I want two key ons on the Spartans. Yeah. Game. <laughs> that's, what I'm talking about. that's what I want. You to saw do, it, I don't want that Keon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but no, I want that Keon as well because, like, uh, against Otis, is, I know Otis played the position and everything like that, but I like this kid. I think he's a great add. I think he is a value add to the Spartan secondary. He's going to give those guys a push because at the end of the day, you got to look at this. You got to look at this, guys. Like this guy played in a national title game. He played in a Big 12 title game. He, you know, all those different things. And he knows what it takes to win. He's going to push these guys to find success. You know, he's going to push the Tatums. He's going to push the Chuck Brantleys. He's going to push all those guys in that secondary room to, you know, to a higher level. And anytime that you can bring a transfer like that, because what it does, what it does, it tells your team the grass is not always greener somewhere else. Yes, it does. Well said, Chu. Oh, you know, why are you looking at me like that? Why are you looking at me like that? A lot why of are you looking at me like that, though? <laughs> because I've heard I've heard different stances from you, Chu Chu, or different things of this transfer, right? Like from a standpoint of we already had a guy in Amir Speed that played on that national championship team come over to Georgia, right? And I think from a standpoint, we have guys coming in in this recruiting class that are in that position. I get it from an experience standpoint, but it's like why are you leaving that program where you can go into like, that's th- those are the questions I'm thinking from a standpoint. I, I, Why I am I going to question. leave? I get that question and don't get me wrong. I'm not saying he's anointed starter. No, I'm saying he oh, yeah. can be, he can be there and say, Hey, this is the culture we had as a team that played in the national title game. This is the culture that we, that took us to that next level. I want someone that comes in and teach that culture. Don't get me wrong. I have faith in the guys that are there right now. Oh, yeah. I just think it's a value add to the position group. That's what I think it is. I have faith in the guy there. If oh, he yeah. didn't come I in, do I, I still do have too. faith. I, I still mean, he knows have how faith to, in that. He knows how to beat that team, beat, beat that team down the road now, which is good. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. But, yes. Yeah. What, what's wrong with that? Yeah. And, and plus, I mean, maybe, wrong with that. Maybe, maybe he's a very good evaluator of a team's potential because who was thinking about TCU a year ago? Going to the national championship game, must let Otis like, was the only person because he's a Texas guy. <laughs> How you do it? How you do it, old? Oh, oh, uh, oh, it's, it's, the, it's the it's the it's the horn frogs. It's like horn, the horn. Frog. Okay. horn, okay, horn, okay. Yeah, you got the hook them, then you got the pony up. It's like that too. It's not it's not as horn as that. That's pony up. <laughs> that's that sounds like fight on. That's that's, 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 and that's all get, that. That's yeah, getting, yeah. You know? Yes. Oh my yes. Otis was the only one that had any horn frog <laughs> thoughts in him. <laughs> this is true. This is true. But you know, maybe Keon can understand like what a team looks like before they're on the edge when they're on the edge of greatness. So TCU loses Max Duggan. Yeah. We lose Peyton Thorne, but he sees something, guys. That's what I'm saying. He he's a championship pedigree. He sees something in East Lansing that he wants to be a part of. Mm-hmm. Maybe look at it from that perspective. I don't you know. think I'm transferring to sit the bench, silly. Come on now, <laughs> like this man. This, you think I'm a transfer from four games last year to go to East Lansing and sit the bench? There's no way, in, especially in NIL day. That's a tax-free state. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about that. We got to talk all taxation, and all this stuff, five hundred ones, everything. After this message from our friends over at IHOP. When you're smiling. Introducing IHOP's new Eggs Benedicts. When, when you take a poached egg, add it to a crispy English muffin, fire roasted poblano peppers, and shredded beef with our rich and buttery hollandaise sauce. You don't just get our handcrafted new Eggs Benedicts on your plate. 
you get a smile on your plate. New Eggs Benedicts in four delicious flavors, only from IHOP. Without further ado, guys, we just got to bring on the doctor. We got to bring on Dr. Tom Dieters from Charitable Gift America. Did I say that correct, Tom? Yeah, you got it. All right. Well, and you have the collective happens to have a beautiful name. And you could tell everybody yourself, Tom. <laughs> so this is Sparta fun. I mean, who, who would have thought <laughs> of that? <laughs> oh, man. It's awesome. Look there at him. Go. Yeah. Out there yeah, on the practice you see me? Table. I'm back there. I'm back there. You see Choo Choo in that there. salmon? Look at my arms. Look yeah, I remember I remember Tom sent me <laughs> Tom sent me this picture. It was like, hey, you know, I I, you I forgot what you told me, Tom. What did you, you tell just, me? You just do some I didn't for say the it. Jehu said it. I didn't say it. I said I need to get in the weight room if I'm gonna hang around with these guys. <laughs> can, can we go back to that picture? Pete, oh my back. goodness. Look, 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 look at my arms. Oh. Whoo. <laughs> Just saying, just saying. I'm not saying, I'm just saying. So they're asking me, where where was I at? You know I, where I, I was? I was, I did the intro uh -huh. to Tom, Ghost. Jason, and JU, and I had to go to Detroit to you meet the Rocket yeah. Mortgage. Yes. Yeah, you had you had other stuff going on right that day. More important things. Yeah. You just dropped us off with, you know, a doc though, who is single-handedly putting together some very, very cool stuff, especially for the folks in East Lansing. And Tom, we want to talk to you about Charitable Gift America and like what that is, where did it start, and then what, what do you do? Well, uh, I'll try to be brief. We, um, I've been in the gift planning business for 30 years, and 12 years ago, I think 11 years ago, 2012, we started, um, this is, or I'm sorry, Charitable Gift America, and we work with hundreds of charitable organizations around the country with their life income plans, their charitable life income plans, specifically charitable gift annuities and variable payment uh, programs. We allow them to private label these types of gifts through Charitable Gift America. It's usually because they haven't had these programs or maybe they don't have the wherewithal. Whatever the reason is, they need an outside source. So we built our business around that. Um, and I took that same concept of allowing organizations to private label their gift planning operation and applied it to NIL and created a fund within Charitable Gift America. And, you know, we, we are probably the four most unimaginative guys on the planet because we lifted our name from a movie. So I came up with this as part of our fund. I mean, really that simple. You know, I, when you talk about the name, I mean, when we, when we started this, uh, you know, we had a couple of different names when we started out and then, we sports ended up disrupted. with yeah, sports yeah, disrupted. Yeah. That was Jason. What else do we have? You know, we we had a bunch of different yeah, names for it, and then we settled we on little... this is part of MSU. Yeah, yeah. And, and then uh, we realized as we did like a trademark, like searching around, and like somebody said, we we don't want to get flagged by anyone that there was a fund or there was a name that was obviously overseas that we could have got flagged, which I don't think that would have happened. But and then we find out. I kept hearing this is Sparta when. Alan would talk or anybody else like Darren would say something, Darren Harris, that is. And I was like, I'm looking like, did we did we do some NIL already? Like this is before <laughs> we did like we you know, work with IHOP and Kyle, you know, did his NIL deals with student athletes. And then lo and behold, we I find out, well, it's Tom Dieters and this is Sparta with Charitable Gift of America. And I kept seeing Charitable Gift of America or Charitable Gift of America with our gymnastics team. Uh, talk about how that fully started, because I feel like that was that first team that you went fully, you know, the entire team. And then just talk about how that worked out with Coach Rowe as you discussed what it to do to support them. Yeah, they really were our first team. Um, you know, I, I started this two Decembers ago uh, when NIL kind of was just starting. I was driving from Miami back home up here to Ponte Vedra Beach, listening to some sports talk show. And I heard some guys wanted to start a nonprofit organization at the University of Texas to pay their linemen. And that's where I thought, well, I already have a nonprofit. I can do it myself. And so that was in December. And I just figured I call people I know. I mean, I've been around Michigan State for my whole life. And uh, I'm just going to get a whole bunch of money and pay football players. Honestly, that's what I thought. 
wasn't the best idea I've ever had. <laughs> so, yeah, what happened? What happened when you well, went off I, I had a little bit of money. Not, not very much. <laughs> not very much. And so I had a meeting with the administrators there in the athletic department in June last summer. And we were just talking. Now, back then, rules were a little tighter than they are now about what, what, what people can say and what they couldn't say. But I got the distinct impression that helping the women's gymnastics team would be a great place to start. So I walked out of that meeting and I thought, well, I got, I got twenty five thousand dollars. I can, I can contract with five gymnasts for five thousand each. And I, uh, I didn't know what to do at that point because how do you pick five gymnasts off a roster? I had no clue. Um, but I called the coach and um, and and he asked if we could do the whole roster for one thousand dollars each. And I, I didn't really like that because I wanted to make more of an uh, impact for these women. And so I said, give me, give me a couple of weeks. And I called some people back that had said no to me before and called a couple of foundations that we work with and donor advised funds. And it was right then that I realized people really liked what we were doing. We were doing things the right way. We were going to contract with a whole roster. And within two weeks, I had enough money to do all 19 women on that team for $5,000 each. So hmm. uh, the coach and the team back, they were, needless to say, they were happy, but, but Otis, you're right. That was our, that was our first step into this. And we got a lot of publicity for it. They're wonderful to work with. Of course they went on to win the big 10 and I think it's because of our NIL stuff, but uh, you know, I'm not taking credit. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, resources, resources. Yes, yes. 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 So that's, the, that, is, that, that um, team is where, that is where we started. It is. And so yeah. they're, uh, They've been a great partner for us, and and they've they've launched us into other teams too, like for example the women's soccer team, who again Big Ten champions. Is yep. that a coincidence? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the the thing is, Tom, and uh, to answer Doug's question, yeah, the three Stooges weren't taken because two of your friends had that copy written already. But um, um, so Tom, um, you don't know, like the thing is this, um, I I really appreciate you know what you you do and what you've done and from where you've started you know like putting that you know emphasis and everything because at the end of the day you know football basketball they're the ones that get you know all the attention and everything like that and as a father of a daughter otis the father of two girls jason you have a girl as well and uh you know that is something like really huge that these girls get an opportunity you know to you know not one just showcase their talent but you know you have something to show for that as well you know so like what was the thought process behind like you know hey we're gonna appreciate the women's sports and you know start with that well i think i already answered how we started with gymnastics but um mm -hmm. we are 100 percent donor driven okay Whatever a donor wants to do is what we're going to do. All right. So, so if somebody contributes to our fund, um, they can they can designate it to a particular sport. So we don't make the decision on who gets the money. OK, um, we collect it, um, but we don't just have women's teams. We don't just have gymnastics and soccer. We have football players. We have baseball players. We have men's tennis players. Um, uh, we have uh, last year, 75 contracts we wrote for Michigan State University um, athletes alone. This fall, already, we already know, and I fully anticipate this number to grow, we will have written 159 contracts um, for Spartan athletes. And that does include Incredible. football. It does include Absolutely. baseball. So we don't make that decision. We're totally donor driven. We, we, we like to be that way because we feel like we're going to collect more money if we do what the donor wants to do. Yeah, Tom, you talked about, you know, one, the 159 contracts with Michigan State. You know, a few weeks ago, obviously last week or just this past month, you know, Michigan State was getting a lot of pushback from, you know, fan base. And like, you know, when our guys hit the portal, it all automatically turned to, okay, we're not, we're not doing our part with NIL, which is, you know, one, that's, that's false. Two, we've had you doing these things behind the scenes, um, and you've done it with without really wanting the, the notoriety or just the publicity. Uh, and you quickly, in amount of a day and a half, you know, signed up Chuck Brantley, which we did celebrate uh, last week. You know, talk about that 
uh, with, with Chuck. And, you know, he was obviously one of the guys at the portal. Uh, but then we were able to have a conversation with and say, hey, let's let's break it down and let's build something out. But tell us how that went. And, you know, how was how was your conversation with Chuck? Truly. Oh, it was like it's it's always fun having a conversation with the student athlete. OK, yeah, they're, they're always happy. Right. And <laughs> I, I haven't I haven't contacted one student athlete who didn't want to hear from me. OK, and, <laughs> and so he, right. he's been, yeah, he's been fantastic. Um, uh, how, how did that come about? I, I don't want to say that and I don't think it would be accurate to say that, you know, we paid Chuck. So he came back. I, I don't think that's accurate at all. He, he wants to be at Michigan State. That's fine. That's great. I think um, that's where his mind is, I believe. Uh, he seems like a really good kid. And um, we had a donor that uh, was was for whatever his reasons were. It doesn't make any difference to me, but uh, he really wanted to do things to help Chuck, not just pay Chuck. That, that doesn't work. We don't do that with anybody. OK, um, so he, he has some some responsibilities in a contract that I think will be very, very beneficial for him. And that's what the donor wanted to do. So, so that's what we did. But it, it just I don't want to say it was a coincidence, but, um, you know, we had the right person at the right time who was interested in him. And I, I think Chuck probably needed a, a little bit of that um, to make that decision. But really, I, th I think I think Chuck just really wanted to be at, at Michigan State. I'm not speaking for him, but I think that is the case. Oh no, that's correct. Yeah. That's 100. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we had a, uh, the the pleasure of speaking with him and seeing him mm -hmm. uh, recently, and he expressed that like it was you know, and he came on the show and and talked a lot about that too. So you know, Chuck is a, a phenomenal guy. To, it's to the question about nil and Tom. You can really speak to this because I, you know, I I know that we we've, we've ourselves myself have said Michigan State needs to step up more. Now I know that you've been doing things behind this and there's other groups trying to do things and you've done it at a level that I haven't really seen as far as the amount of players and athletes are that you've been able to hit. You're talking about 159 coming up in this fall. Now you also with charitable gift America have collectives in other schools, correct? Correct. Okay. So when you get to go, I mean, you got your masters from Miami, so you know what's going on down there and they're like crazy down in Miami right now. Right. But, <laughs> so, but you have seen giving from a lot of different universities across the, the country. How does Michigan State rank as far as the amounts per uh, athlete from what you see in other places? Oh, I think Michigan State is right there with, with, with just about anybody. Uh, you might see some really large contracts at some places um, that maybe Michigan State doesn't have. But I, I will say this, the... Um, the structure, the cooperation between the collective, you know, us and the athletic department is, is critical. And we have a great relationship there. Um, Michigan State has, in my estimation, and, and you're, you're right, we, we do work with several other schools where we run. We don't run their collective. They run it, but we have their funds. So I work with them all the time. But um, with our fund, I can tell you, MSU has the cleanest, uh, most efficient, uh, an above board NIL program that you can possibly have. Um, and that includes the name, this is Sparta. We, we looked into it and it's in the public domain so we can use it. Um, but uh, <laughs> perfect, perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But now we made sure we worked with the compliance office before we even wrote one contract. Um, we're, we're very heavy into making sure we're doing all things correctly. And it's because of that, that not only have we, have we acquired assets to, to pay for um, some of these, pay for all the contracts. But that is what has led to our growth with other schools wanting to work with us in our in creating a fund with us. Most notably, we're the only one that I'm aware of. And I, I, I talk to a lot and I get a lot of phone calls, but we have the capability of writing uh, contracts for international student athletes. Um, and the numbers at which I wrote down in front of me here, when I said we'd have 159 contracts currently, that's going to grow. But currently, that's what we'll have written in the fall. 23 of those, or 14% of them, are international student athletes. That's just at Michigan State. But these other schools stumble across international kids, and they do happen in football. We have we have one at Michigan State. Um, it happens more often than you think. 
And that's why they come to me. And then they see how well run the, the service they're getting here with, with the contracting and the 1099 work at the end of the year. And then they kind of fold everything into us because it's, it's hard to be sustainable and we create that vessel for them to be sustainable. Yeah, Tom, and Tom, you, you have one of our very own who works with me and my team, obviously with us too, uh, with MJ Andrus from oh, okay. Women's Soccer. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yep, so she does work with us uh, and is interning to get experience because she is a, a marketing advertising major. So it's yeah. part of her, her, deg her degree to get a co-op internship in the field. And she is a great, great add in for us from a value standpoint and she's very persistent and she can sell like she's one of those 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 you know student athletes who you know gets it yeah uh, but she's not doing it for all the money she's like i just want to you know have a, something to fall on when i'm out of you know out of the sport so well you know. you know mj um you know she's a really good example of what we're doing and that is okay we're gonna do 32 women on the soccer team. Now I get all over Jeff about carrying such a big roster because he's killing me, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> right. But then you had MJ, the one international kid on that team. And I'm like, I, I'm not leaving one kid out. Okay. And so what we did was we hired a, a international law firm, immigration law firm in Miami um, to research this and come up and, and draft a contract specific for international student athletes. Um, that produces the type of income that they are allowed to get. And we have a, a legal opinion from them. So we're very, very well covered for these kids. And so a, a, a woman like MJ was able to participate along with half the women's golf team. Uh, let's see, the couple, I've got a tennis player, men's tennis, from guy from Greece. And then we have half, uh, what was it? Uh, volleyball has a couple. And women's basketball has a couple. Yeah. Yeah. If I remember them all. But yeah, we didn't want to leave anybody out. You know, you know, that's that's, that's really good. Um, and uh, so Tom, I gotta ask you, you know, I know you went to Michigan State. Michigan State's a passion of yours. You went to uh, Miami for your masters. Um, I have a, a buddy that's a former teammate of mine, uh, with the New York Jets, and now his son's being recruited and uh you know something that's really cool that you hit on is you said michigan state's doing it right with the nil and the collectives and everything like that and um i'm using so like miami's recruiting his kid hard really hard they're all they're making these promises and everything like that and He's like, I don't know if I have that trust factor in that because you see from different organizations like Texas A&M, people are transferring out because they're the people that went there for the reason that they went there aren't getting what they're getting. You know, so like how do parents, you know, that are listening to this be like, oh, you know, this is a you know, good place to go. Like not just if, even if they're not going to MSU, but like how do parents like be like, OK, this is what's promised to my kid. And I can believe it and trust it. That's a really good question, Jehu. And um, I'll go back to how we run our fund. And we will not make an offer to any student athlete unless we have the money in the bank, cash in the bank. That, that's it. I mean, I can't speak to what's going on at Miami. Um, I think it's, it's not a secret. I mean, it's just in the newspapers or wherever. But clearly, the, when you have one person that's funding NIL contracts, just one. And it seems like that's what they have there. Um, and it looks, I mean, I just read this like you do. It sounds like that company has has some issues on valuations, things like that. Are they gonna be able to make those payments? You know, it, it, I, I think if I was being recruited or I had a child that was being recruited by a school and they were being offered an NIL contract, whether it's Miami, Texas A&M or Michigan State, I would wanna know who's running that collective and if it's not a collective, what company are you talking about? Because that's what we're talking about at Miami. Um, and, you know, do you, do you trust them? Not unlike, do you trust the coach when, when the coach is recruiting you? But, um, yeah, there's, there's, there does seem to be some, some issues with, with payments in, at UM. But uh, I hope not. I hope the kids get everything that they were promised. Yeah. And so you said, you know, you, you look into that. I know through MSU people can you know, the people that are on here, you know, from listening to you can figure out how to know, like at Michigan State it is. How does a parent 
look into it and find out if what the collective is and what the collective is about. Oh, I get phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> I, get I phone bet calls. you do. Yeah, I get phone calls. I got parents. I got agents. You name it. I get. I get phone mm -hmm. calls. Uh, uh, some of them are really good. Most of them are really good phone calls. Mm -hmm. um, Tom, licensed agents or the unlicensed agents? <laughs> you know, I don't know. <laughs> that is a good response. I feel like when NIL came about, everyone wanted to become an agent. Everyone wanted right? to become like, an agent. Everyone's like, oh, I have, I have, I have like, knowledge in this. <laughs> well, yeah, sometimes, yeah, the agent is, yeah. Yeah, yeah but, you know, that, that's one of the things, Tom. That's one of the things that, you know, people need to realize is, you know, there are people that are out there in it for themselves, and, but you have very good organizations <laughs> like the organization that you have, you know, that are in it for the kids and the athletes, you know, and that's what I want to, you know, want to know and want you to push out there is how these kids, you know, can get a hold of you and your organization and everything like that to so, you know, because they're getting the actual true facts is vetted. Is everything's great, you know, five one c three, all that different stuff. If you're a donor, if you're a parent, and everything, how can they get a hold of, you know, Tom? Well, you can go to uh, charitable. So was it CGA America? There you go, right there. there. <laughs> CGAAmerica.org slash this hyphen is another hyphen Sparta. That's it. And and my name and phone number, email is all over it. They can call me anytime they want. They can also go right on that same same site and click the uh, uh, little button there and make a contribution too. Very easy. <laughs> Super easy. Everybody hear that. It's the call to action. If you're for any of those fundraisers out there, you can always How do we do it? How do we do it? Action. Yeah. Yeah, you know, but, but Jay, yeah. you're right. There's there's a lot of people out there that um, maybe you don't want to deal with. Um, I, I've certainly met too many of them. Um, uh, I, I, I try to weed them out of my life best I can, but you know, sometimes when I get calls from people looking for something from me when they shouldn't be, um, you know, I'd rather, I would much rather walk away from people like that than, uh, than get involved with them because if I did it once, I would get a lot more phone calls and probably be the end of what we're doing. So we got just got to be careful. Right. Pete and the guys, if you guys don't mind dropping that in the chat so everyone can, if they want to click on that uh, website, you know, that's yeah. good. I saw someone in there say drop it in the chat. So if you, you guys can drop yeah, that in the chat it. there. That'd be great. And don't forget to hit that click and subscribe button, that like and subscribe button too while you guys are at it. You know, we want to talk a little bit about some of the guys who did enter the portal. And I don't know if this is necessarily for NIL reasons, but Peyton Thorne um, update now, who we do now know that he has signed with Auburn. Yeah, you know, Peyton signed with Auburn and you know, good good on him for that. And when he signed with Auburn, I reached out um a mentor of mine when I was out with the New York Jets is Tony Richardson and he played for University of Auburn and uh through him I got connected with the uh, director of player engagement for University of Auburn and I sent her and him a message. I was like, "Hey, one of our guys just transferred there. Take care of him." And their response back was, you know, hey, we're very lucky and fortunate to have him, you know, as a part of our team. And you, I told them, you're you're exactly right. Peyton's a good guy. He's going to be, you know, a good fit for you for that organization there. Congratulations to Peyton Thorne uh, for, you know, finding the landing spot in Auburn, finding somewhere that makes him happy. And, you know, we're as Spartans, we're all happy for that because at, at, at the end of the day, we all want the best for everybody that donned that green and white, no matter where their career takes them at the end of the day. I mean, well said. You know, you know best of luck to Peyton as he's down in Auburn, you know, a war eagle, Spartan nation, the war eagle. But, hey, look, I mean, he's always a Spartan, like you said, you know, before we move on to the next subject, here, Tom, I want to ask, in your opinion, well, why do people donate, and what what motivates them to do that? In your experience, well, I've heard a lot of different reasons. <laughs> um, the, for the most part, the, for the people that have that I've worked with that support our fund and MSU student athletes, 
they just want to help the kids and and they want to they want to make a contribution that they know is going directly to the student athlete and nowhere else um sometimes they're uh you know maybe they're, they they think sometimes they make contributions and it doesn't get to the area that they actually want it to get to but they know when they give to us it's going directly to the student athlete i, I should also add charitable gift america does not charge any fee whatsoever for doing this we're doing it entirely to help the university, help these kids and help uh, move move all of the programs forward. So it's usually they want to they, they want to help. They want to help the kids directly. But like I mentioned before, we get a lot of contributions from people that have absolutely no relationship with Michigan State. And they did it just because because <laughs> I asked them. <laughs> <laughs> that is great, Tom. Like really appreciate what you do and what you bring to the university, Tom. And, uh, you know, Jason and I had the, the privilege of, you know, hanging out with you at a practice <laughs> and just having some great look at, look at, you know, the picture that look, my arms are like massive in that picture. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, really, really Man, appreciate, I, I really you appreciate ribs. you, really appreciate you, uh, Tom and what you do for university and what you do for these student athletes. And, uh, one of the best things about it is it's all all the athletic brands all through, you know, the university. It doesn't matter men, women's, all that stuff. You bring it together for those student athletes. Really appreciate it. Well, you know, it, it's, 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 it's a pleasure. We, we, we have a lot of fun with it. It was a lot of work to start it. And I didn't know at one point why I was even doing it until we started contracting with the kids and, and, and started getting feedback from them. We, we do have a clause in all of our contracts because we are a philanthropic organization. We like to teach kids about philanthropy. Um, we empower them to learn about philanthropy. And we do that by every contract we have has a clause that says they must give 5% of their contract to a charity of their choice, not our choice, but their choice. Mm. So they got to look up what happened maybe to their family or friends or what's impacted their life and what organization would they want to help. And they love that part. And so we've created this huge ripple effect literally around the world with contributions to these two. Uh, gosh, I don't even know how many chairs, however, however many kids we have is how many charities we've been able to impact just because we have an NIL program. Well, that's incredible. Yeah, Tom, man, listen, this is this is what we needed, you know, from a standpoint of education, you know, but it's valuable because you have the results and then proof in the pudding for for everyone here at Michigan State. Um, and then, like you said, we'll post this and people are going to start giving. So I would love to see how, you know, the traction is as we continuously do stuff within our partnership, because the universe has aligned with our naming and now <laughs> we're going to get to work and putting some things to action for activations and getting our student athletes exposure, obviously on our show, uh, because there will be more that you'll be signing up and we're going to celebrate them just as we celebrate our, our past well, NIL well, student athletes. Well, I really appreciate you guys doing that and, and the help with that uh, to, to, to sustain this over a long period of time and really make it right. There has to be a, a, a seamless relationship between our fund, the athletic department, and the Spartan Fund, the, the athletic fundraising arm, um, and, and we're working on that. And 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 Alan has been a great great leader in this area. Um, he, he's like I've been working with universities for thirty years. I know things don't happen overnight, um, but it is moving. It's moving, and and I give Alan a lot of credit for taking all the right steps to make sure if we're going to move, it's got to be done in the, the right way and do it well. And if we can accomplish all that, MSU is going to have more money in their in their coffers, both in the Spartan Fund and in NIL, than probably anybody in the country, and that should help all of our programs, including obviously football and basketball. Absolutely. Yeah, we can't wait to put a lot of the athletes and kind of celebrate them as they get those deals, because you know, it, you know, look, it's cool to like get the money and all that, but I know how this generation is. They like that, you know. They want some. <laughs> You know, they want the instant Lights. gratification. Yeah, you know, I mean, you gotta give them a little love. You know, it takes that money a little further, right, guys? Yep. I mean, well, well, yeah, we no. are planning on uh, if Thursday. I think it's Thursday, August thirty first. If that's the day before the first football game, which I think is the thirty first, we're gonna have a, a signing day um, where all of the kids that we have under contract will 
pretend like they're signing a contract. It'll be a great photo op and get them a lot of publicity and we'll celebrate uh, how many how many student athletes at Michigan State that that this is Sparta will have under contract for, for the next academic year. So that'll be fun. Oh, that's dynamite. And you guys you know, gotta be there. Yeah, we, we're, 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 Absolutely. We're Absolutely, we, we already we are discussing like live show, <laughs> yeah. live show on site. Yes, yeah. it'll be yeah. in our office building mm-hmm. that's downtown East Lance, and we we got we got some things cooking behind us. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Tom, yeah. Tom, before you Stay let tuned. you go, like there's a lot of comments that are asking about possible merging with the Spartan Fund donations in order to for people to give or choose uh, nil within that type of giving. Can you? expand on that or talk, speak to that. I, I sure can. And I'm glad you asked. I, that's what I was talking about earlier about the cooperation. Um, what, what, what has to happen for sustainability. All right. And, and this is well within the rules of the NCAA. Okay. Um, there, the, we need to have a relationship where people can give to uh, what they've normally given to, whether it's facilities or whatever sport they give to, or NIL, and the points need to be meshed together so you can get points for giving to this fund. We're, we're working on that. It's not going to happen overnight, but um, if I had my way, it would. But <laughs> but I, I will right. say we we have all the right parties involved, okay, to, to make this happen. And I'm optimistic that, that, that we can pull it off. Um, and if we can do that, then we're not going to have to go back to the same individuals every single year when we need a bunch of NIL money. Can you give us money again? That is not sustainable. Okay. Um, What I'm doing is probably not sustainable, but we need all of the Spartan fans to have the opportunity to give, but we understand they also want their points. Okay. That's just an internal policy that, that can be done. I probably have said too much, but uh, that's that's the direct that's the direction we're heading, and, and we certainly have are having the right people involved, and everybody seems to be uh, it, behind that movement. So what I hear you saying, Tom, is just hang in there. Don't yeah. stop giving. <laughs> you know, just come on in. You know, they're gonna catch up, and and if you need an extra ticket or two, call Otis. I know <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. right. No, Tommy, man, this has been great and and extremely informational for everybody, for me. Uh, So, you know, I appreciate you coming on the show and sharing this information. And this is the first of many uh, opportunities for us to get together uh, with that beautiful name of yours. So thank you for joining (laughs) us. Uh, and, 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 you know, we already we're going to continue to post where people can give to the charity. Correct, guys? Yeah, we will. Yeah. Right. yeah. And we are a 501c3 organization. So any contribution is is a, is tax deductible. There you go. Can't be that important. That is, that is, that is important. it right that's, there. That's that the first it. thing people ask. You know, charitable donations or <laughs> and Spartan Fund. Those are the top two. So yep. we've answered that. So we, we good? Have, we got, we good? got all these components. We just need to put them together. We That's put it. it together, and MSU will be unstoppable. Oh, Absolutely. Man, I like to hear that, right? We really appreciate you, Tom. Really appreciate what you do for these student athletes. And, you know, as a former Spartan player, th- that wish when I was playing, you were around. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I, was- I, I really do appreciate it, what you're doing for these student athletes and what you're doing for the community of, uh, you know, this is Sparta and everything like that. Really, really appreciate you. Oh, I wish this was around when I was playing at Michigan State, but I know, I know, you're yeah. a Spartan. I wouldn't you're have, I wouldn't baseball. have blew all my NIL at Ricks. Yeah, right. I would have. <laughs> no, I, would have been, I would have been a Dooley's probably. Right. Dooley's yeah, and yeah. sensations. sensations. <laughs> oh, yeah, sensations. Right. All yeah. trade, Choo Choo. That's an all trade uh, yeah. Ricks NIL deal for you. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, awesome. appreciate the time, man. Look forward to having you back on the show. Thanks for having. Thanks for Thank being. Thank you here. very much for having me here. Appreciate well, it. Thank you, Tom. Thanks, Tom. All right, go green. Go white. Go white. Oh man, so I mean, I hope the nil questions got answered a little bit there, fellas. You know, so well, what do you guys think? I saw in the chat, man. You know, we had this 
conversation. We had these questions last time we, you know, last mm-hmm. Thursday, right? And then we quickly kind of went to the lab and like, okay, we got to bring, we got to get this going. We got to bring someone who is fully living and breathing it, but doing the work. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Tom is is doing the work. Um, and I think that's a, a truly, you know, good opportunity that this show provides our listeners, our subscribers, our fans and alums is that, listen, we are bringing you resources and it's almost like we're leading you to the well. If you don't dip in and get a drink of water, and that's only you all. And it's one of those things where if you want success. Tom showed you and told you that when he did these these team wide deals and supporting our student athletes championships, that's resources. Right. So it's a direct result of getting the guys and the girls, the women taken care of so that they're able to then put the, the, the beauty of work onto their competitive fields. And, you know, this is a good opportunity to showcase that. So I do appreciate Tom and what he's done. And he's truly doing it through the greener, white, Spartan pride. And it's nothing for his own merit and what he's trying to get out of it. And so I'm trying to drop the mic before Choo Choo does, because he typically <laughs> does that after I do something. The one upper, you know, the upper The one upper himself <laughs> is on the floor. No, the no, no, but, but, you know, overall, though, overall, like we talked about this, and especially last week, you know, it was heated conversations last Tuesday, you know, trench reporter, because Michigan State Spartans got a gut punch. This is not Choo Choo's apology tour. This is Choo Choo's, like, <laughs> putting it out there. Because at the end of the day, all of, all of us as Spartans got an absolute gut punch uh, two Sundays ago when we're sitting there minding our business and you read on Twitter, Peyton Thorne answered the transfer portal. You enter, you see Charles Brantley enter the transfer portal. You see um, Keon yeah. Coleman enter the entr- transfer portal. You know, those are all things that never really – it's one of those things that, like, oh, no, it will never happen to us, but it happened to us. We got we got uh, um, uh, K-9 out of the transfer portal, and we were hee-hee-ha-haing all the way to, you know, the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl, New Year's Day Bowl, you know, and we didn't think it would happen to us. But this is the way, Spartan Faithful, this is the new – college football this is it right here and now you have the opportunity to be a part of the spartan universe to be a part of spartan faithful that can help keep these and retain these guys here as spartans you know so those are the things that and having you know we we had this conversation kudos to otis as soon as we were done and you guys don't know this we record the show for for everyone in here when we're done at the end we spend another 30 minutes on what could we have done better you know, what can we do? You know, okay, this was good. This was good and everything like that. Otis was like, hey, we got to get Tom on, you know, to figure out, you know, how can people help out in every way like that? You know, we have a guy out there right now. We have a guy out there right now, Spartan fans, that is in that limbo. And this guy is Agent Zero, Keon Coleman. He's in there right now. We need to, this is the new, this is the new NCAA. You know, we have to be able to recruit these guys it's you know thoughts and prayers we wish you well come back to us keon green and white those yeah, things are look, different now yeah look, look, <laughs> hit the like and subscribe button but don't, let's pull up the graphic let, let, let's look at this Spartan nation right here with keon coleman this is the teams that have contacted him since he went in the portal but there hasn't been a commitment yet so that means there's still a chance there's still a chance so there's, hey, there's all like I said, there's always a chance until you sign on the dotted line. You know what? And you know what? And uh, can can I get the camera on me, Pete? <laughs> oh my gosh! No, here we go. I want to say this. I want to say this. You said there is always a chance. I, in the heart of hearts, still believe that Agent Zero Keon Coleman is going to be rocking the green and white this year because of the love Spartan Nation has for him, but. That love only goes so far, <laughs> just so you know. Love don't pay but, bills, right? <laughs> right. Don't bring it. <laughs> but I, I truly, truly believe that Keon loves Michigan State. No matter what he does, no matter what decision he chooses to do, he loves Michigan State. His family loves Michigan State. All right. I have never, I have not, I have yet to have the opportunity to try 
Mama Coleman's uh, gumbo. Yeah, so I still it. want she that. Cooking cooking it before, like, <laughs> Raven, y'all missed it. Right. She always cooking. I still want that damn gumbo. <laughs> we <So. laughs> gotta for come my, back for that alone, Keith. For my selfishness, come I back know, here. She just teasing. It just, man. Get that gumbo. <laughs> Listen, I will host at my house in the summertime. We will have a full out broil, but that gumbo got to be on deck too. So look at Cal talking about, mm hmm, it's good. Okay. <laughs> see, see, unfinished business key. You got to, you know, we will welcome you back. You know, there's a prodigal son chapter. We'll talk about that on another day. But guys, you know, straight, we'll, straight. Shoot. Before, before we go, I want to say this. I know you guys don't know this. I'm just throwing you guys out there. I have a special announcement next Tuesday's show. Oh, Lord, wait a look. This one of those things like you don't even listen. <laughs> My you mind goes to a, like no one. I, can... I have a big announcement that that is 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 you know what? It's gonna benefit our viewers. Okay. It's gonna we benefit like that. our viewers. It's something that's gonna benefit our viewers. That's a the only special, reason we live. Special announcement. Ne Oh my, look, look how fast Pete put that up there. Next Tuesday, a special announcement on this is Sparta MSU. The Man, more, listen, the more producer, people, producer you, Pete. Yes, the more people you bring into this, the more people it benefits. If you care about the people, have them come in and tune in next Tuesday for my special, special, special choo choo announcement. Hey, oh, that, hey, hey, man, you just sold not, that now. I'm like, Hey. I know he better better it, come it, with it because it sound like that Everest commercial college. You sitting on the couch, <laughs> and, and I'm telling you, I'm yeah. telling you, these people are gonna love it. They're gonna love this announcement because it, it is something. It's something big. It's something. Big. No other show, no other podcast can ever offer you something like this. We've done so many things that you know what they say about you know this is part of MSU. Often imitated, never duplicated. <laughs> no other people can can do what we do at this is Sparta, and now this is just another another thing on it that is beneficial to our true true. Hey, you you've, MSU you've, cl you've killed that. You talk about I mean, oversell doesn't do this justice. I mean, we're expecting reparations for the entire chat. The entire chat gets you know what you got to beat the stuff that's going on in California. One point two million per. Her head and is that Steve, what we're doing? I will I will have a special outfit on for this announcement. Okay. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Otis Producer Pete says like, Otis President like, Obama or bust. I mean, like yeah, I you, you gotta be man. Otis is like, what is Choo Choo getting us into? Man, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Otis is rubbing the head, sitting back. Otis like, rubbing the head. What is this? I, you know when Otis rubs his head, it's trouble. <laughs> it's big trouble. So the, no, don't forget about Thursday. Thursday, this Thursday, we have a special, I mean, extremely special Mother's Day uh, gift for you. So we're going to bring you a show dedicated to the mothers. All the mothers, every one of us have one. You know, you know, boys to men song on repeat was uh, the classic. Anything and everything you give me, <laughs> and I will always keep it inside me. Oh boy. Hey, it's going to be, that's going to be a special show. So you can tune in Thursday and then, then, then. That's gonna be very special. Don't stress but Otis out near cheer. As special you see, you see Raven coming has in store. You see Raven coming. Don't all. stress Otis out too. Man, you know, oh my god, he he done did it. it. This guy Jesus. He man. done did it again. Yeah, man. Completely man, off man. script, everyone. We don't know how long man. we meet prior to doing these. Choo Choo's got his own script, and that's why we love him. It's okay. You know, hey, guys, we got to wrap it up here. I think that, you know, we've thoroughly destroyed next Tuesday's show. But for Otis Wiley, i tell you, Coke. I'm Jason Strayhorn. Have a good night. God bless. And go green. Go, go white. white. This is Sparta MSU as a combined presentation of Playfly Sports Properties and Michigan State Sports Properties. The show is produced by Pete Menez with additional support from Tony Costella. Operations and social media support is provided by Alicia Strayhorn with support from Cecily Max Brown. On location technical support is provided by Good Fruit Video. 
Be sure to follow our host, Jason Strayhorn, J.U. Kulkrick, and Otis Wiley on social media. To stay up to date with all the latest, this is Sparta News. Please like and subscribe by visiting our link tree and tell a friend to do the same. Thank you for your support, and as always, go green.